Race four in the program is the first, or well, the final leg of the early quarter, I should say, and the first of our Group 1 races tonight. It's the Always Be Mickey Vic Bread Super Series final for the two-year-old Colts and Gouldings, the baby boys. Now, Miragon. What can we say about Miragon last start? What a performance it was. He dropped about 40 metres at the start, somehow tacked on, then somehow got a card up, then ripped off the card up, went up to win the race, loomed to win somehow, and just couldn't quite get past Forever Yin. It was an extraordinary performance. If you want to pot Miragon, there's three reasons to here, okay? The inside second line draw is a little bit of an imposition, but not as bad as it looks. Right hand turn, get off. You're not going to lose as much ground as if you do galloping. He has galloped a couple of times in races, though. That's the other little issue for Miragon. And I know this sounds really harsh, but twice recently in his past three starts, he's loomed to win races and not been able to get the job done. He did it with You Are My Sunshine and the Youthful Stakes, and he did it again last time. Did he have excuses? Of course he did. I'm just playing devil's advocate. He should be winning the race, Miragon. He's the best horse in it. Second is pandering a stable mate of Miragon, who is racing really well. He's probably gone to a new level, but it has to be remembered that in the homegrown classic series, he led in heat and final. Miragon sat parked outside of him both times and humbled him on both occasions. So pandering would want to have improved a fair bit if he wants to beat Miragon here. I don't think he's improved that much, but I think he's a clear second pick. Not far behind him, though, forever yin. He's flying under the radar. Everyone wants to talk about Miragon's performance in that semi-final last weekend, so they've forgotten how good forever yin went. And he also went exceptionally well at heat level. He's a good horse, and he has a barrier draw advantage over his major rivals. Nothing else can win the race for mine, though Beale Street might try the same or similar tactics as last time, was inside the second row at semi-final level. Here off the second row, might just burst through and try and find the front. Based on what we saw last week, he can't win, but he should be thrown into your exotics. My number's in the first group one on the program, 8, 10, 6, and 11.